What's up, everyone? Time for another malt review. It's Mikey. I'm Narby. What's up, guys? Um, excited to do a whiskey from one of our favorite distilleries. Uh, this is a single cask whiskey from Glendronic. And this was selected by the Whiskey Exchange. If you're not familiar with the Whiskey Exchange, um, it's a big um, liquor specialist store in the UK. And obviously at the whiskeyexchange.com, you can go online and they're one of the, if not the biggest, best places to buy scotch from. So it's an amazing, amazing place, an amazing website. And uh, from at least my experience and Mike's experience, uh, when they hand select something, they I usually put pretty good pride into that, and it usually tends to be pretty good. So when I saw Glendronic single cask, I was already a big fan of that. Whiskey Exchange selected it, uh, I'm assuming they selected a good cask. This is, hopefully you guys can see, I should actually take the bottle out. Yes, sir. There's the bottle. We don't have much left, so we wanted to do a review of this before Done. Before it's all done, <laughs> this one is 1995 vintage. Uh, it's 17 years old, and this is cask number 4682. What kind of cask? Um, Pedro Jimenez cask. This is a sherry whiskey, um, and the kind of sherry is Pedro Jimenez, uh, which usually means it's going to be. Very chocolatey and very rich, dark, and extremely, extremely sweet. So this should be a, a powerful, monstery yeah. dessert whiskey. St so sticky sherry punch. Yeah. Oh yeah. And this is bottled at fifty-six point six percent cask mm -hmm. strength. So oh, yeah. it should be a nice, nice beast here. Yeah. Sherry bomb. All right. It definitely uh, blends Ronick for not too much money, or at least a lot more affordable than most. Because blends Ronick is still doing all these nice single casks in all different ages, and they, they are a good sherry specialist, I think it's a fairly affordable way to try a super high quality whiskey left in the market now that everything's gone up just insanely, exponentially, the prices over the years. All right, so the color is a rich, dark mahogany color um oh yeah yeah you put some beautiful wood furniture yeah and it's a cask strength some nice thick gluey legs oh yeah sticky punch um this whiskey's obviously been aired out quite a bit so let's just go right ahead and nose sticky toffee Dark, rich rum raisins, um, ch chocolatey as expected from that Pedro Jimenez cask. Mm, just oh, sorry. sorry, no, no, one more thing. Just, just extremely, extremely rich, and it actually noses as if it's even older than seventeen years old, even you know up to the, you know, close to twenty, twenty one, twenty two years old, twenty five years old. It, really has that powerful high-end um, nose. Like it spent time in a long time in high quality cask. It's just, the, you know, that's the cask selection. It could be 12 years old, as long as it's in a really, really good cask, it's gonna get release and give off that cask influence. Um, and it's gonna taste, it's gonna nose and taste aged. So it's, that's, this is uh, extremely special on the nose for me. Yeah, it's hard. Basically, it's hard for me to find a bad uh, Glendronic single cask. Like, almost everyone we've had has been extraordinary. Their cask selection's off the charts. And it's like the same way that normally if you have a super high alcohol, super high end cask, first fill sherry, that it's just like glue. It just glazes your palate, glazes your tongue. It's doing the same thing to my nose, to my nostrils. It's like I'm smelling it, and it's just. Every single square inch is covered with these super rich, super dark, super exotic flavors. And you know, all the, all the usual ones like toffee and like all these crazy glazed nuts, like glazed walnuts and cashews with exquisite high-end high honey. This is just unbelievable. 
it's it's all the flavors that you expect before even opening this bottle. I mean, again, you know you're gonna get the dates, the figs, the sh you know all those sherry Christmas cake flavors, but you just don't know that when you put it on your nose immediately, the quality of it. You know, there you know you put a you could get flavors like this in a high end quality way, um, and you can you know it's like having a steak. You can have a piece of steak that's just very average, and you can go to a really high end steakhouse have a piece of steak that's really high. They're both steak, it's, but this is just really, really, really quality sherry notes. This is, this is amazing. This? How much was this? This, I don't, re I don't remember exactly how much this was, but probably around 75 pounds. Yeah, it's like, that's like unheard of today. Yeah, and, and don't quote me on that, by the way. I, I don't remember how much it was, but, um, but it, it wasn't oh, a lot. It was one of those where it's like, so a no-brainer, let me, you know, let me get a bottle. And uh, I don't know, we might, we might have gotten two of them. I don't know. Yeah. We'll have to look. The quality is amazing. All right, you guys. Obviously, you know we love the nose. Let's go uh, straight to the palate. It's very rich on the palate. It is a bit alcoholic at 56.6%. It's probably not ideal drinking strength. And um, it's, it's, it's enjoyable. It's not like, oh my God, it's too alcoholic. But I definitely think it's gonna benefit from some water because it's just so intense. And all I'm getting is, is drying effects and those, that toffee and chocolate, but I feel like more complexity can open up on the pilot if, if we add some more water to it. I totally agree, yeah, it's like, I guess some, even like 60, 65% whiskeys I've had, they have this oily element that totally takes away from the alcohol blast, which helps. This doesn't necessarily have that. The alcohol blast isn't that bad, but definitely it could use some water, but I love it though because all those flavors, because it's cask strength, all those flavors from the 17 years in the super high quality cask it was in are all there. And it's rich and you're not going to miss anything. You can always dilute it a little bit. Hopefully it releases flavor. Sometimes it takes away. But at least you're going to get a lot more flavor than if they were already diluted at like 43% or something. With water on the nose, it didn't change much. It's, it, it's very rich still. Um, and I added quite a bit of water. I, I, I put a decent amount of water in here, so it probably lowered the ABV close to around, I don't know, my guess is around 48-ish. Um, and it's still very rich. The one thing it added uh, is like a nice red wine vinaigrette kind of a flavor. Um, so that's basically what I got as an addition. Would you agree? Yeah. It's got like a vinaigrette feeling to it, along definitely. with those intense, rich, fudgy notes. Yeah, like definitely a little like... Um Either yeah, like red wine or even like balsamic. Balsamic, what well, probably yeah. Yeah, exactly. like a little bit of the, those sweet flavors with like that little like acetic acid. That exactly. Little, that little vinegar on it. Exactly. Um, mm -hmm. Let's try it on the palate again, with awesome. or without water. Absolutely loved it on the nose. Didn't like it as much. I liked it, but not as much on the palate. Let's try it with water on the palate. Big improvement, huge improvement. Um, so you add that little bit of water, and now you're you're definitely getting the same stuff that you were getting on the on the nose back on the palate. Nice, beautiful spiciness, drying, and those flavors are lingering, and it, and it becomes very very enjoyable. Um, I'd still say overall. The nose is mind-blowingly amazing, especially for our value in terms of price. And on the palate with water, it ends up being very good. Uh, I have to combine the two, 50-50 equal in terms of a score. So while combining all that, um, this ends up being a 90 out of 100 for me. I would say because, like just like Narvi said, the, the nose is a monster. The nose is incredible. 
So the palate's always going to fall a little short because the nose is that amazing. But I'll give it one point higher. I'll give it a 91 because the nose is that worth it. It's so good. Um, all right, you guys. Obviously, we love we love this whiskey very much. Uh, we will do a few more in the fu in the future. A few more single cask Glendronix. Uh, we just wanted to get one out there and show you guys that we love these. If you see some out there, um, I do know that the 1993 is a very good vintage. The 95s are very good. The, you know, most of them are very good. But do a little bit of research online. Feel free to ask us in the comments below if you have questions on a particular cask. If we've heard about it, tried it, read about it, whatever, from friends, review other reviews, or if we have it in our collection, we'll definitely let you guys know. Um, but um, if you've never tried a single cast glendronic, you absolutely should. All right, you guys. We'll see you guys soon. Take care. Go out and get it, baby.